Hi, y'all. It's Alex from Happy Baby Fit here. I have a 12-minute Tabata coming up. It's been a little while. I'm super excited to be recording this with you. Um, it is going to be a 12-minute upper body workout. All right, let's do some arm circles while I tell you a little bit more about what's coming up. All right, so a Tabata, as a reminder, is double the amount of work to rest ratio. Let's go the other way. In this Tabata, we are doing 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest during each minute. Now, I've got my clock back here that's going to beep at the 40-second mark, and after that rest is coming to an end, I know it's backwards for you, but that's okay. You'll be able to at least get the gist of the countdown here. All right, I am using one set of 10 pound dumbbells for this workout today. Um, if you would like to have other options available, please feel free. I'm gonna give you options for modifications and progressions throughout these movements so that you can maintain your form, but find the correct challenge for you today. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pick up one single dumbbell for this first movement. Single dumbbell. I'm just going to show you this first one so we can jump into it. And then as we get into the other ones, I'll explain them during our rest time and really maximize this 12 minutes. All right, we're going to do a bent arm raise, which means our elbows are going to start at shoulder height. We're going to go up into a tricep extension and down just to shoulder height. We're not coming all the way down. All right, we're gonna keep those shoulders down away from the ears. I want a really nice shoulder roll where you drop those shoulder blades down the back, pubic bone towards the breastbone to get that really nice stack of the ribs over the hips without squeezing glutes, right? It's a pull from here. And we're gonna get going. So we're gonna get our one weight we're starting in a standing position, and our Tabata 12 minutes starts in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, so bend arms up, tricep extension. Using that breath, we exhale as we push up. Good. You could also do this in a kneeling position. We're gonna do a kneeling movement later, but it's gonna increase the challenge on your core and your arms if you go into a kneeling position. Keep those elbows nice and tight, just down to shoulder height, right back up. All right, and we rest, we're done with that first minute. We're gonna take our second dumbbell, two dumbbells here. We're gonna go nice and wide, and we're gonna alternate a press, all right? We're gonna go in five seconds. Drop those shoulders. And let's go. My knees are soft. No locked out knees here. All right, I grab those two tens. It feels pretty spicy already. And if you weren't counting before, we've got four movements that means we're going through this three times. So feel free to modify as you need as we go through this workout. Again, going to a kneeling position, totally fine. If you prefer to do both arms at one time, progress it that way, that's an option as well. But definitely not feeling like you need both arms at one time right now. All right, woo. Okay, hang on to both of those dumbbells. We're gonna come into a really wide stance and a strong hinge position. We're gonna do gorilla rows. So nice and fast rows from this wide stance. Butt back, exhaling into that position. Now a good way to progress here is to increase the weight or go a little faster, all right? Obviously, modify with a lighter weight or go slower. Watch here that you're not twisting and opening. You're driving that elbow straight up, pulling towards the hip, not pulling towards the armpit, but pulling towards the hip. Big squeeze at the bottom of the shoulder blade. I want you to feel like you're squeezing into the spine. Ooh, all right, rest now. We are going to go to a high kneeling position for this next one. 
keeping both of those dumbbells into a bicep curl. 10 seconds, we go into that bicep curl. Both arms were alternating your preference. All right, I want you to keep that stack. We can have a glute squeeze here, but it needs to come after that pubic bone to breastbone pull. All right. Alternating is an option. Increase the difficulty here by going both arms. You could also add a low to high kneeling. That'll help you get a little extra momentum with that lower body. Addition. All right. We're going back to the beginning. Let's come to standing single dumbbell for this first movement. 10 seconds. Single dumbbell. In three, two, one, bend arm up, bend it back. Okay, don't let those elbows flare out at all. Round two. Keep those biceps tight to the ears, elbows in. The elbows never come lower than the shoulders. Dropping those shoulders down. See if you can straighten at the top. If your elbows or your shoulders don't like that, then don't. We want this to feel good. All right. Let's go. All right, we've got 12 more seconds. We're going to get our two weights with that alternating shoulder press. So make adjustments as needed. All right, let's go. So your elbow can come down a little lower than the shoulder here, but don't let the weight drop. We are gonna hold it, getting that extra burn. Nice work, soft knees, make sure you're not locked out here. Yes. All right, we're almost there. Woo. Getting into the core, into our back, into the obliques with the single-sided movement. Really important, keeping those hips level. Oh, all right, Gorilla Rose taking that wide stance. We're gonna exhale as we bend. Our butt is going towards the wall behind us, right? We're not squatting to get low. All right, let's go. We're drawing those hip bones together. Remember, this can be fast or slow, but regardless, you're pulling towards the waist and the hip. You're not going up into the armpit. Another one really good for stabilizing through the core. This is a sneaky core. It's a lot more than you expect. For about 10 seconds. Got this. Keep those shoulders, proud chest, shoulders back. Don't let that weight pull your shoulder. That's the hardest part now as we get fatigued. All right. We're going to come to that high kneeling bicep. If you prefer to do this in a standing position, go ahead and do that. Rolling shoulders, nice and tall. We got three, two, one, I'm going to go ahead into that low to high kneeling with that bicep, that tiny bit of momentum and glute squeeze from that low body, helping me with both arms here. Otherwise, in a high kneeling, it's probably the alternating arms. Remember to take the option that feels good for you today, and that means you can maintain proper form whew, through all 12 minutes, right? Just because it's 12 minutes doesn't mean we're not getting killer workout here. All right, we got one more round left. 
All right, 10 seconds. Roll the shoulders, pubic bone to breastbone, right arm, and let's go up, bend right into those triceps. Feel free to make this Tabata yours. If a movement doesn't feel good, sub it out. If a weight doesn't feel good, switch it. Right? If you want a couple extra tricep reps, get a couple extra tricep reps. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact. I want it to make sense for you. Since it's the last time we're doing this movement. And done. All right. Alternating shoulder press. This is the one that seems to be my limiting factor in these four. This is the toughie. All right, nice tall posture, soft knees. Let's get those weights up. Two, one, let's go. We're using that breath, arch, exhale out of the mouth. As you exhale, you're drawing those hip bones together, allowing that low belly and your entire deep core to help support you. All right, you got this. Fight your right. We're almost there. You got this, you got this. Only two movements after this. Yes, all right, we made it. Okay, keep that nice neutral spine, feet are wide. We're gonna exhale into that nice hinge position. Neutral spine, hinge, butt back, not a squat. Keep that pubic bone and breastbone. All right, let's do it. Okay, so if you're feeling this in your low back at all, I want you to give an extra pull, pubic bone and breastbone. See if you can almost push out just a little bit on that low back. Keeping those shoulders nice and level. We're not letting that weight close down. We're gently pulling away from the weight with our back, keeping that nice tension. All right, we're almost there. We got this. One more movement. All right, keep both of those weights. We're going to come into that high kneeling position. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna do alternating arms for just a minute. Oh, maybe a few reps. Maybe mix it up during the 40 seconds. All right, let's go. I'm gonna keep my upper arms really tight into the rib cage. Really force that bicep to work up and tricep to help support me on the way down. This is making it feel heavier than that low to high. You're doing great. 12 minutes is almost up and you're getting a killer upper body workout. Really great for those arms and shoulders. With some good sneaky core work in there as well. I've got a new low body set coming up soon. You've done it. 12 minutes, good work. I was starting to say I've got another Low body, core, and total body uh, workouts that are coming up soon. So I hope you'll join me for some more. All of my workouts. All right, there we go. That's really that's really the end of our twelve minutes. All of my workouts can be found on YouTube, Alex at After Baby Fit, or follow me on Instagram, AJ that After Baby Fit. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for joining.